Hey guys! In this video, I want to introduce you to a Photoshop plugin that lets you create hundreds of mockups of your artworks with one click. With Mockup Batch, you can automate this tedious and time consuming task and save a lot of time. Let's get started. If you have correctly installed the Mockup Batch plugin in Photoshop, you can find it in the main menu under Plugins. Before we make settings in the plugin, we can make some preparations to keep the process simple. I have already prepared some poster artworks that I want to place in different poster mockup templates in this example. To keep it organized, I create three folders. First, one for the artworks, another for the mockups, and one for the finished mockups. I can already move the artworks into the folder. I need some nice poster mockup templates. By now, there is a huge selection of free mockups available on the internet. Of course, you can also use your own templates or create new ones. But for this example, I use some really high quality free templates from mockupsdesign.com. This looks great. And another one. This is perfect. The downloaded files need to be extracted and the selected template PSDs copied into the mockups folder Now let's prepare the mock-up template PSDs. For this, open both files in Photoshop. First, in this case, as described, the optimization layers need to be removed. Most mock-up templates can contain multiple smart objects. Therefore, the smart object that contains the artwork needs to be marked so that the mock-up batch plugins knows which smart object to fill. Name it at artwork. If Mockup Batch does not find a layer with this designation in the document, it will take the first smart object it finds. In this template too, the optimization layer must be deleted and the smart object renamed to Add Artwork. Save and done. Next, we set up the batch in the plugin. Select the folder that contains the mockups. Select the folder that contains the artworks. Select the folder where the mockups should be saved. In the placement method dropdown, you can choose how the artwork should be placed in the smart object. There are three options, center, stretch, and fit. In this case, I use stretch since the artworks do not all have the exact size of the smart objects. This way, the entire smart object will be filled with the artwork. In the Export As dropdown, I can specify in which of the three formats the mockups should be exported, PNG, JPG, or PSD. In the additional settings, you can set whether all mockups should be saved in the export folder or whether subfolders should be created for each mockup or even each artwork. If JPG was selected as the export format, the compression level can also be set here. Lastly, there is an option to add a unique suffix to each mockup. Everything should now be ready. Let's go. Depending on the size of the mockups, the number of artworks, and the performance of the computer used, the duration can vary. All done. All mockups were successfully saved in the export folder.
This looks very good. Okay, I hope mock-up batch saves you a few painful work hours too. I think you can save many hours creating hundreds of mock-ups and have time for a coffee instead. Thank you for watching.